This is only the first step of many. Guess what we have for you. What? You heard a crack? For real? Oh it does look bruised. God. Do they do surgery here? This morning I got a phone call, so I was like, oh no. here and Caden is now amongst the time that he's able to change his earrings. He's been waiting for this moment. We went to this little like local event this weekend and show him what you bought Caden. <laughs> Caden bought Reese's earrings which obviously Caden is the Reese's king like he loves Reese's and he was like I need these and I want them in my ears stat. So we're gonna wear them today to school. He's so excited he's like he didn't give me a choice he said we're changing out our earrings this morning. He got his ears pierced about two months ago July, August, September. Yeah. Look at the height difference between my twins. Back to back. You don't be cheating, Kaden. This is insanity. Insanity. Do you want your ears pierced, Kaden? No. <laughs> Should I just go for it? I can take this part out. That part. Do you want to do it? Yeah. Okay. Just make sure it's full. Look at see. Let me see. Oh, you got it. Oh! <laughs> Whoa. There's a hole in my ear. That's the point. Okay, Whoa. let's try this one. All right, crease is number one. Is it gonna hurt? It's it shouldn't not. hurt. No. It should just go right through. It's already in. done. I should? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that easy or what? Super easy. I don't care if it's big. No, 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 no. Oh, sorry. You want to do Stop. it? Now. Okay. Hearing number two. Here, you do that one. Okay. I'll take it out. Backs off. And done. Oh, okay. What do you think? They look good. Yeah. I love it. It looks so good. Don't let anyone tell you different. I'm going to be like, <laughs> <laughs> I can feel it dangling. I know. I love it. Oh my god. I am obsessed. I'm obsessed. Holy moly macaroni and cheese sauce. That looks so good. I love it. Now you need some Reese's sweats, Reese's shirt. Sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna find this for you. My Reese's loving child. Alright, well happy Monday. <laughs> Moving on with our day, Monday for us also means dance. Well, we have dance Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We have soccer Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. Papals on the weekend. Karate Monday, Wednesday. Anyway, Monday is typically our busy day for dance because my girls have their solos on Monday. So it's like they're a long day and I have to pick them up straight from school, we'll take them to dance. And Addie has a prop for her dance this year for her solo. She needs a chest and I volunteered Chris that he's going to make it. <laughs> We just need a very custom size and he knows how to do all of this stuff. So he is putting this together today for me to bring. It needs to be done in like an hour and this is where we're at. So we'll see how it comes out. But basically she's gonna have like changes of clothes in here. You guys have to wait and see for it. But um, we're trying to figure out dimensions now. She needs to do a couple tricks on it. So her dance teacher told her it needed to be about hip level for her, which we measured. It was about 24 inches. So we actually need to cut this down like two inches. But it also needs to be functional. We need to be able to open it up her she needs to be able to open it up and we need to be able to carry it it's turning into a bigger project than we had expected but chris just went to home depot to grab all these pieces we need to change up the dimensions a little bit here and you think you can do this in two hours i think even less really no i mean i have less than two hours. oh i thought you meant it was gonna take you less i was like hey mr handyman he's gonna cut some pieces up throw it together i'm interested to see how this comes together it's definitely not gonna be done today completely like it's gonna be functional today but i still need to like paint it and stuff too her solo theme is suzical the musical so it's gonna be so cute and so fun but the paint is gonna have to come later we just need it functional for her to practice with because right now she's practicing on a fake one and so she's not really doing it full out so anyway it's happening i'm so excited for the dance season this year oh the official dance season for us doesn't start until like january though so we've got some time left so this is only the first step of many in our dance mom parents journeys oh my god there's so many wasps chris they swarm your truck i think there's a nest in your truck no they're everywhere they're all by this trash can too. really but i always see them going in and out of your truck, I don't think they're inside your truck. they are babe i could show you right now even this morning at 8 a.m they were look i'm willing to bet yep boom bought a chair. look at them look at them they just go into your truck look at it the li it just went in your truck chris i told you i think you have a wasp in there a wasp nest look at them they just chill look at them Ooh. Can wasps or bees have a nest inside of a car? Let me know. That is used every day, mind you. It doesn't just sit here. Just run through me. To them birds flying free, fish in the sea. Oh, they're swarming you. Oh my 
my gosh. Also, look who has officially joined us. Jack and Jill. They're just chilling, waiting for me to place them in their official designated areas. I feel like I'm just gonna leave my Halloween decorations up until Christmas this year because it's taken me so long to put them up, but oh, we have so much going on. All right, finished product. This is gonna be a tester. We kind of need to check the height on stuff. It's obviously completely unfinished at this point and it's not gonna fit in the car. Uh, I'm interested to see how this works. We got to check the height, functionality, the length. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a complete tester for now. Guess what we have for you. What? Look in the back and tell me if you can tell what it is. Hmm. It's your prop for your dance. Yes. Daddy made it. It's not painted yet, so that's why it looks like that, okay? It's going to be a lot cuter. Get, um, We're just going to see if the size uh, works today. Yeah, and then I go around. Oh, it's not the other one? I sit on it. And I go. No, yeah. And then I jump off. Okay. Okay, so you go, um, yeah. Good. Yeah. And then that. Cute. You go that way. Then you go in the front. Cool. So, is the. the height. When I jump off on this side, uh -huh. I, I can't, like, jump off of it. Mm -hmm. That chair is, like, good. It really? Should we lower it, you think? Yeah, daddy could cut it down. It's PJ week today, spirit month. Hence the PJs, good pointed toes. So I need to go PJs. Halfway on. Halfway on. Okay. Okay. Good, that's why we have it now, so you can have lots of practice before January. Yeah. Okay, so you get down, then jump. Good. Touch it at all without it? Hurting? Oh, even your, your fingertip is is red. Yeah, you, and you can't like make a fist, huh? Like it, it hurts mm -hmm. too much. Yeah. Things have taken quite the turn. Turn. I was at soccer practice and I was defending one of our teammates. I blocked the shot at, Ouch. at least my finger like the ground. Just you ground. slipped. Yeah, and then it went the ground when I was trying to save a shot, and I was not goalie. I was <laughs> outfield, and the ground, my finger went into that, and it went that way. Yeah, like so that if it's right here, that way. Kaden at soccer practice yesterday, Kaden came home and he was he was like, My finger hurts really bad, but you know, oftentimes these kids get bumped and bruised from soccer, and so we like looked at it and it did appear a little swollen. But Kaden, it's it's so hard to tell with him because he is a tough cookie. Like, Kaden has a really high pain tolerance compared to some of the other kids. So I was like, let's keep an eye on it and see how you feel about it tomorrow. And today he is completely unable to move it and it's swollen. Let's, let me look at it. Let's see, so this has been 24 hours, pretty much across your hands. It's been 24 hours now. And this is the problem, Pinky. As you can see, it is definitely visibly swollen on this side still. And it almost looks bruised to me. Today. Does that mean it's broken? I don't, I don't know, I don't know. What if it's broken, what if they do? If it's broken, they'll put a splint on. I broke my finger when I was a kid. See it sideways to this day. I was about your age, actually, when I broke my finger and I was playing tag in the house. Don't do that, kids. I was playing tag in the house and I like crossed this way and my, I think it was Amanda, my cousin crossed this way and I, I like, we hit each other and it bent my finger. That one's true. And no one believed me that it was broken and I was like, it hurt so bad and it took like, 24 hours it was swollen and everyone was like I, you know I don't, I don't think it's broken but we'll go ahead and take you in and sure enough it was broken so i'm having a flashback to that and so i'm like let's let's just take you in he came home from school i know it came home wait, from wait, school wait, would no they just gave me a splint i don't know i don't know but they just gave me a, a splint back in my day he was playing soccer and he was defending someone and he slid to kick the ball right no, to, to save the ball to save the ball from him kicking From it. him kicking it, and then he fell, and he fell onto the grass, like, thi like this, right? Wait, which way did it bend? With my finger, show me. Yeah. Oh yeah, your good finger. Show me with your good finger. Good finger. Okay, good, good finger. finger. Which way? <laughs> which way did so, it bend? I went, and I went this, like, it was Forward. that way, all the way back. Ooh. I'm sorry! <sighs> and I heard a crack. You heard a crack? For real? Like, then stuff. Well, I'm not sure, it's probably, it's I'm not sure if it was just a or like. Mm. All right, let's go to the ER. <laughs>
See you tomorrow. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, we're gonna be a while. It's been a long time since we've taken our kids to the ER, I feel like. It is. It's the last time. So we, I think it was you. We have for like four hours. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna drop off Kyson at soccer on the way and then inform his coaches that he will not be attending today. You, it was you. It was Landon when he broke his arm. That's probably where. That was scary. Wait, oh, when Landon broke his wrist, that was terrifying. I saw him. Okay, let's, let's go. Let's get out of here and see what they gotta say. What if it was jam? What did they do? If it's jams? Yeah. I have no idea. I stopped and talked to his coaches on the way because I dropped Kyson off on the way and they had some good suggestions. They said that there's something called jamming, I guess you're I don't know. I, I guess it was just like another way to look at it, but they said regardless, they're probably not gonna be able to do anything because it's a finger, whether it's broken or not, but may as well take him in and try and see what we can do. Right, sir? Mm -hmm. We just pulled up. Oh it does look bruised. God. Yeah. You see, it, it's so swollen. Yeah, it is. It's sprained for sure, right? Like, it's at least, it's gotta swollen. be at least sprained. That's swollen. It is really swollen. A jam finger won't do that, right? I have no idea. A jammed finger, that's a new term that I learned today from talking to your coaches. We got so lucky, we got called back right away. Yeah. Holy moly, we I came in at a good time. You wanna crack it so bad, but I can't. Don't crack it. Don't crack it. I like this finger was jammed. Did they do surgery here? Just that they needed to look at something in the light a little bit better. A little bit. A lot of it better. <laughs> Just gonna take a nap while you're in the ER. Yep, sorry. <laughs> Update, we just talked to the doc. She thinks it might be fractured, so. I think they're gonna do an extra. I don't know, oh, I don't know. Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have 11 new streaks for not breaking any bones. Oh. <laughs> 11 year streak of not breaking any bones. She's like, make a fist and he bend, can't. I cannot bend this or else the door hurts. Yeah. Now. All right, we have been discharged. That was pretty quick and painless, thank goodness. I guess they don't have an actual radiologist on in here, so they have to send it out. She said, I don't see a break, but there's still a chance that it is. And if that's the case, if we send it to the radiologist and they see something, then we'll give you guys a call. And if it's broken, it's not super visible. So it's probably a small fracture, if that. But I guess we'll just wait to hear back in the next like 24 hours. She said, hopefully by the end of the day. But she also said, if you don't hear anything, then that's good. So I guess if the, I don't hear anything in the next 24 hours, then it's just a sprain. But glad I got it checked out because it is visibly like, Swelling. yeah, they did wrap it up. So <laughs> it's crazy. She said, leave it on. If it's just a sprain, leave it on for about five days and you should be good to go. That's good news. Hopefully it's that way. Well, it's been just about 24 hours since we went to the ER, a little bit less actually. All of last night, I didn't hear anything, which is good news until today. This morning I got a phone call, which is supposed to be bad news, right? She said, if you don't hear from us, then it's good. And if you do hear from us, then it's not good. So I was like, oh no. I answered the call and she said, hi, this is Dr. So-and-so. I just wanted to let you know that we did send Caden's x-rays off to the radiologist and we just heard back. They said that they do not see a fracture on his finger. Hallelujah. She said it is a pretty severe sprain, but to just keep it covered for five days and he should be good to go. And if any other problems arise, to go ahead and bring him back in. It is still bothering him today, but he, not enough for him to like not want to go to soccer. Like he's, he's like, can I still play soccer? Although I don't think it's a good idea. Both he and his soccer coaches said that it's fine. Boys in competitive sports. Since we're in the clear and it's not a break, he's good to go. So I don't know what prompted them to call me to let me know that it was not a break, but I am so grateful for it because you kind of are just left on edge without like hearing back. Back. So even though it was supposed to be bad news, I'm so happy that it is not bad news. Not that there's much you can do for a broken finger either way, but his x-rays are good to go. So anyway, that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye, guys.